Ghostbuster symbol. Adorbs. Double down. I know a girl who's on the bench. She'll make you snacks that don't have a stench. But she hates marshmallow. She likes snacks with cheese. She don't like jelly or any of these. She likes riding, riding, riding. (laughs) One, two, three, four. Sitting on the bench. Riding's really hard. We need another snack. And that is just a fact. Oh, oh. Hi, this is Shauna. This is Trisha. And this is Two Girls on a Bench. The podcast. We write on the bench. We snack on the bench. And most of all, we procrastinate, procrastinate on, on the, the bench. bench. And we are here today. And we've been here for a long time. Trisha just whacked her microphone. I just, that was me <laughs> whacking. I whacked. I got my microphone got whacked. Yes. Yes. No, I just made the observation because we started like five hours ago (laughs) that we should probably spend an entire day together without recording so that we can spend an entire day recording. Well, I feel like if you had come to swim yesterday, we could have we like could have talked all we that could have stuff talked out. Some of it out, not we, all of it. We, we could, it would have like, cut like an hour off. We have to do like a podcast prequel with each other. Like this is not appropriate for the podcast, but yeah, we're going to have a conversation about it. But don't say it on the podcast. Yeah, well, or I, I did just, say one thing like that too earlier, or just and I'm not going <laughs> to mention it. Yeah, or just random shit where it's like too random to like go into, like. Yeah. My well, kid spending money on an app. Yeah. For a year that I didn't know about. I mean, <laughs> there are some mysteries. Do you want to hear the boring? Do you guys want to hear the boring stuff? <laughs> hey, guys. Well, I will say that we went and got our toenails done. We got a pedicure. And so you're going to see that on social media and you're going to like it. I always get like black or like burgundy or like dark purple or brown or like dark burgundy. I'm like, I like, (laughs) I like vampire colors apparently on my toes. Like that's, and that's all I like. And I feel like I like dull Easter egg colors. Yes, you do. Like pastels. Yeah. Pastels like a purple or like a teal or like a a a light blue green or like a light blue, like a baby blue. You're like a baby nail doer i know (laughs) and so a baby nail doer what does that mean (laughs) baby it's like a baby fish mouth baby nail doer Uh, oh no yeah so we got so we both got really bright colors so i started it because i was like you know what i'm gonna do i thought Uh, you were joking i was i said to shauna who's pointing at the pastels and saying do one of these racy (laughs) pastels with me (laughs) and i was like (laughs) you know what (laughs) it's you're just so like you know on trend on point with your racy colors there um so anyways i was like (laughs) i'm gonna pick a color i would never pick and there's just this one little section with like (laughs) six bottles which i'm taking a picture of it neon colors like neon yellow green Neon red, neon what if pink, done the neon, neon yellow? orange. That would be scary. I mean, that it's would like, look so it's like bad. neon highlighter, like yeah. yellow highlighter <laughs> color, right? Like you guys all know, because like neon colors are in the stores now. They're I a don't little harsh. Understand why? But well, whatever. So um, <laughs> I picked the neon red. I mean, and I was like, it was called. What was it called? It was called like no regret. No regret. <laughs> It was called No Regrets. And I'm like, I have to keep this. I didn't put it back. I didn't pick another color. And I didn't waffle. I said, I'm getting this. And then I was like, me too. But then I picked a, one that was slightly different called Sunset. So it looked <laughs> pretty much the same. Right? Yes. Yours maybe looks a little more towards orange, orange. now that they're dry. Yeah, yours I is thought a little they were more identical. pink or red. Maybe I, I can kind of see the red. I'm in- not that great with the color variations like well, you are but i mean they do look 
a tiny smidge different or, than mostly. They're very bright. Though. I think it's that we've just gotten so used to them. They're not a shock anymore because at first it was like, <laughs> shock enough. here comes our feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were, we were having a pleasant time. I never go like get my nails done. So Shauna took me. Yeah. It's because they always ask me if I want something else and I don't know when to like put my feet up or down or in the water (laughs) and I get nervous about it. And then typically they'll be like, do you want your eyebrows waxed? And I'm like, do I need my eyebrows? Like, are you inferring I should be waxing my eyebrows? And then when we were leaving, I felt bad about my eyebrow. Is something wrong? Did you hear a knock knock or a boom boom? door? Anyway, sorry. Keep going. So we're standing paying and I'm looking at the (laughs) menu, you know, and there's waxing. And I turned to Shauna and I didn't even know the lady checking us out was listening because she kind of had like a phone in her ear. Yeah, she had like an earbud and she was like talking. Well, she answers answers the the main for the place and she talks. While she's doing stuff and you're like, are you talking to me? She's making an appointment. Yeah, Yeah, she's very busy. So I I didn't think she was paying attention. And I turned to Shauna and I said, (laughs) (laughs) I keep burping. All right. And I turned to Shauna and I said, this was really fun. Thank you. I said, and no one asked me if I wanted my eyebrows waxed. (laughs) And the girl goes without skipping a beat. I do that too. You want me to schedule you? <laughs> we do all the waxing. We do bikinis too. And I'm just, I, I was like, no, no, no. It was a joke. And then she looked like a little sad. like, <laughs> And then I was felt kind of bad about that. But I've never You're waxed all, my and then, you, and then you did that thing where you kept I doubled down. It. <laughs> We've determined that when when people don't know what I'm talking about or you respond just to my jokes. It. You're like, no, this is a joke we've had for a long time about. And she just like walked away. <laughs> She's she all, I have other nails to do. Walked away. Yeah, yeah. She literally was like, I don't have time to like think about. Because then we went to Trader Joe's. I left a bigger tip because I felt bad. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go up a little bit on my tip. <laughs> And I, d- yeah. Oh my God. We went to Trader Joe's. We went to Trader Joe's and then we were checking out and we started talking I, about <laughs> some frozen meal or something. And the guy was like, oh yeah, these are good. You know, people like them, whatever. And I was like, do you like it? And he was like, blah, blah, blah. We were just like having like that dumb conversation you have. And then <laughs> he was like, it's not as good as it is in like as big as it is in the picture or something. Yeah. Like, and then know, I was stupid. like, I used to work with the guy. Then I started telling yeah. stories, which was, I don't know, maybe I was mostly telling you, but I was telling him too. But he, this is when he stopped listening. Yeah. I'm like I used to work. I didn't work with this guy, but he was like in the lunchroom. It's like back when I worked at Sage, like literally yeah. like 30 years ago or whatever. Oh and my God. And. He was, he would take out like two, like, like the Stouffer's the frozen, oh, Stouffer's. you know, yeah, you oh. know, those little, they're kind of yeah. like the same size as the right. Lincoln, yeah. but yeah, they're like, Salisbury he would take steak. out two, he'd put two of them and like eat them like one after the other. And I just thought that was so bizarre. He's just like, I need more. <laughs> He's like, this isn't big enough. I like, need a Salisbury steak so and a meatloaf. That's why I said to the guy, I was like, you'd need two of them. Huh? I used to he work He didn't the, respond. He just like yeah. stopped looking at us. Another check. He was like switching check. I wasn't paying attention at this point because I was bagging Shana's yeah, groceries. <laughs> Thank you. And I appreciate it. The guy was like, do you want to use another bag? The, another guy. And I was like, no. I should have said it. it's not my bag, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that one now. Or you could have been like, this kind of thing is definitely <laughs> my bag. <laughs> oh instead, my God. Instead, instead, Shauna was getting cash back so we could buy strawberries because apparently we shop together now. Like, I don't know what's don't happening. Know. So uh, I said, don't worry, she's going to pay me for you know doing such a good job. And then. Shauna was like, huh? And I was like, I'm not trying to get paid right now. <laughs> and then people, I felt like there was confusion on the two men's faces that were standing there. And I was like, um, the, this, what did I say? Young people these days. <laughs> Those whippersnappers. I, I was like, I can't even, you know. I can't even not laugh when I remember. You said something like, we really like the slang that young people yes. use. I said something like that. I said I don't really mean it. It's just slang, you know. All those youngins <laughs> use. 
confused and slang. And he's switching check checkers. He's literally like got like this like no, no smile. Not even a crack no of a smile. Reply. We're joking. We're we're like both trying to like, like get this guy to like like, be our friend, I'm I guess. I don't dip know. Out and like, <laughs> And he didn't <laughs> nobody responded. And then I was like, his, his name was Rob. And I was like, Rob is not having it. Rob does not want to talk to <laughs> us. Rob is over us. But like, <laughs> I kept explaining it. And I was like, when someone doesn't get, I said this as we walked out. I'm like, when someone doesn't understand my joke, I double down. <laughs> I tell another dumb joke and I give explanations. So yeah, that's my fault. That's yeah, my know. problem. Well, and I I think I do th- something similar to that where it's like I used I talked to a, a coworker about this once where there was like this one lady that like worked in another office and when we'd see her she was just like not friendly at all and we'd like tr- and she's like I feel like I'm always like trying to like get her to be like to like, so like respond or, you know yeah. or like or smile at and you. she goes and i feel like i do it more i'm like me too like i feel like i'm trying like super that hard lady's like they're so annoying yeah and we were like the fundraising people so we have like you know bubbly personalities compared to this lady who was like not so she would wear all these different pins and so i was like oh you always have such interesting pins and i was like joking with this other chick i worked with so i was like i'm like going overboard on like trying to You're get like her to doing like what i do yeah trying to get her to be my friend because she's like not being my friend or like not <laughs> laughing at my jokes same thing where you're like I, now you're like doubling down you're like yeah. i'm i'm gonna make you make it happen like me and my jokes and your flashy pin whatever anyway that's funny that's all we have for you well, today i'm just kidding <laughs> on the on like you know companies are having people like go to the office and split their time between home but one of the things they they said on like this is why we go to the office even if your team is all located somewhere else <laughs> you can walk around like make sure to cancel like block your day so you don't have as many meetings and then you can walk the floor and you can meet other people from different departments and collaborate so after the meeting i was leaving but i'm like I'm going to walk the floor. <laughs> and she was like, she went off on it. Like you, you smile at people, you say hi, you have a brief conversation. <laughs> and she was like, here's how you do right? it. Yeah. Here's how you behave like a human person. I think because <laughs> it's like no one's been in an office for three years. So everybody's all like, I can wear pajamas. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, yeah, no, I get it. So I, I walked the floor and it's very sparse as far as people. And Those you walk around and go, hey, <laughs> Joe over there. Hey, you. I don't know their names because we all, it's a yeah. shared space. So everybody's just sitting, you know, in the random hey, champ. places. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. There's a lot of hey, I'll buddy coming later in well, the episode. There's a lot of little couch areas. And I'm, I swear to God, I'm going to do this and just take a selfie when I'm there. I'm going to just like lay on one of those couches one day and see if someone laughs or notices because there's so many couches. I'm like, who's sitting around this like coffee table hanging out? Like, like maybe you should go have a phone call there. It's all my, loud. Yeah. Is someone it, like, said a communal that space? it's in the middle of all like the actual work p- zones. Yeah. That is so it, at one point there like was, you would take your laptop and just sit there and just be like fun all day long. Like, oh my God. I'm so fun. Yeah. The couch yeah. Without laptop. a monitor. Like, yeah. Super cool. So anyway, as I walked the floor and those that I did make eye contact with, I smiled. Yeah. And they looked down immediately. Like nobody it was wants the most to talk frightening to anyone. thing they'd seen <laughs> in three years. They were like, bitch, no, I am not talking to you. They don't want to do it. They're like, I don't care what HR said about how to make friends and influence people. They are wrong. <laughs> I was just at a conference with like. A hundred extroverts because uh, most people in fundraising are. And I like make myself be an extrovert, but I'm not really one, I think, deep down. You have to turn it on and turn it off. And so I'm like sitting and it's like, you know, we eat like every meal together. It was like these full day sessions. And so I'm like, I got my food, like it was like breakfast. I like got my like whatever and was like sitting and I went to a table and then I was like, I just want to sit down and like eat this, but like nobody's sitting down. Everybody's nope. up like chatting and like doing yeah. it. And I was like, I have to go like t- 
talk to people meet, and like i have to like make myself do it it's sometimes. like meet and greet breakfast so then you just don't eat breakfast because you well, never and then have we'd a start chance. a big session so then i could eat like when i but then they'd be like breakfast starts at 7 30 and i'm like that's yep. 4 30 on pacific coast time so i'm not getting there at 7 30 to eat right? some like scrambled some eggs or whatever scrambled eggs like i we just have the same bagel whatever totally work conference out of state muffin. thing happening <laughs> muffin <laughs> bagel naming things that they had i i was in ohio we have been traveling for work and there's like you haven't noticed there was fruit and i was like oh like some melon a strawberry and i sat down and i took a bite and i was like it's like in uh wrinkle in time when they eat the food and it doesn't taste like anything but it looks beautiful oh yeah because it i'm used to california fruit not that i'm a snob but california fruit we are snobs we're closer to mexico we get you know like fresher yeah and I was like, nope, that's it. That's the end of the story. It was a bad story. This has been working. How to work. <laughs> how, to, how to make friends how when to you're not working. How to not make eye contact and not influence How people. to not make jokes when someone has no interest. <laughs> how to not double down. <laughs> that sounds weird. Double down. What is double? Is that like a betting term? I don't even know. I think so, like. Like, I don't even know why I used it. Double, double down. down. I'm like, gonna, this is well, like it a, just means it. Uh, it means what we. Yeah, you're, what we just said. Yeah, I used it correctly. I'm just yeah. kidding. No, I mean, but like, <laughs> I is, know what it means. Is it a, is it a betting term? I think Probably. yeah. Like I'm gonna double down on eighteen or. <laughs> <laughs> that was very now, specific. Now I'm gonna talk to you, <laughs> and, and pretend I play craps, <laughs> which I don't. <laughs> All right, let's have a snack. Oh, no, no, you have a quote. Oh, my God. We just talked for an hour about nothing. Oh, my God. Welcome to our podcast. This is a writing podcast. Yes, and I'm very sorry today, that we, we were just super chatty all over the place. No, obviously. I'm not sorry. I'm not going to apologize. I am not sorry either. Okay, so. Okay, so here's the quote. And it's good because I was thinking about our writing prompt when I picked this quote or the Steve the Devil roommate activity we're all doing together. Okay. Fantasy is hardly an escape from reality. It is a way of understanding it. Lloyd Alexander. And Lloyd Alexander is a fantasy writer that I did not know about. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, but it's like because the idea of the devil being someone's roommate is fantasy, right? Clearly. I mean, <laughs> or no, not. <laughs> it is It is right what you know, Shauna. It is actually real. <laughs> I was worried because I was your roommate for a long time. And I'm uh, like, what are you trying to say? Who's the devil in this scenario? Anyway. Anyways. Fantasy. So speaking of understanding it, Steve, the devil fantasy roommate. Yes. Um, today is when we're going to read your responses to our bench right club. And I just want everybody who didn't submit something to be very jealous. <laughs> I want you to I listen was like, what to are you it. Say? I know you, were, you had a Shauna's face is like a question mark right now. I know. I was like, are you going to say like, I don't know. What I'm t- I'm giving the people tough love. The tough writers love. Yeah. out there, you could take just like three minutes, three minutes, or five minutes, minutes. or However whatever many minutes you have. I and mean, just jump in. I heard you're one- gonna listen to them and you're gonna be like, "These are so good. I wish I had done one because I'm also good. Yeah, I can be. And, and I- also, don't be intimidated though. Wait, I didn't yeah. mean that to sound like. But- no, 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 but. I have an even better idea than that person came up with. Because yeah. ideas spark ideas, which is the whole idea of <laughs> idea, <laughs> idea <laughs> of having the collective <laughs> of writers is so that we can produce this podcast, comedy, drama, audio podcast, <laughs> audio comedy. We should just decide audio comedy. Odd com. Odd com. Like sitcom. Oh. You did it. I did it. Well, sitcom is situational comedy. Odd is audio comedy. Audio comedy. No. We TM. (laughs) (laughs) Hashtag odd com. Odd com. A U D C O M. With a hyphen. A U D C O M. Like sitcom. Yeah. yeah. With a hyphen, right? Maybe. Well, sitcom is two words, though. So is odd. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sorry. I don't know why. Why am I stuck on this? You what? you stop stomping my <laughs> creative idea down. It, it could be whatever I doubting want me it to be. Yes, sit um odd comedy. 
Okay, so you were here first. You heard it here first, folks. We're <laughs> going to come out with an circuit. odd com. After that, there's going to be a lot of people copying us and like saying we should make more comedy content and not just make it all like spooky wooky. <laughs> and and then a spooky wooky is another <laughs> genre that Trisha just invented. But <laughs> when I search under genres, I search true crime and spooky wooky. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, yeah, that was too much for me. <laughs> oh, it's so random sometimes. I can't even control it. Things just come out. I don't have. It's like there's somebody else talking and I'm observing <laughs> from the back of the room. And I'm like, why did you say that? I'm like, in, I'm like what your face looks like when I say weird things to myself. <laughs> I know if I'm saying something like going too long like, or saying something weird because you just like because i have you no know, poker face <laughs> speaking of doubling down my boss told me i don't po- have a po- poker, po- face. poker face I, oh. I cannot you can see everything i feel on my face and i'm like i've been told that too by management it's like a weird <laughs> thing where you're kind of like then you try to like smile all the time i feel but like i don't do that with you i can be real with you but apparently feel, i'm making faces at you i, I feel didn't like realize. when i'm fake smiling it's like <laughs> <laughs> like really weird looking like okay like it's like a really stressed out smile. yeah like it's like you know clenched <laughs> like i'm holding my breath and smiling at the same time <laughs> or something. anyways okay so the point of this is we're hilarious we're writers <laughs> we like to write with other writers because we feel like ideas feed ideas and oddcom is the thing now okay our anyway. oddcom will be produced in a year with people who can act and it's going to be hilarious and there's going to be several different episodes with different scenarios and that's what these writing prompts are for right now Good job. Full circle oh, back. So to you. everybody should have a snack right now because I just doubled down on the explanation <laughs> of Oddcom. Thank you. Circle back to me. <laughs> Give me that snack book. Snacky cluster. Okay. Snack book time. I'm already recording. Ooh, I know. Right in. I just had to tell you all that as soon as we turned off the mics to <laughs> op- grab the snack. We were both like, there's no comedy podcast, Trisha. And I just want to acknowledge comedy podcasts. I know you're there. I, and they're all so sad. They're so sad. You don't have to at us a whole bunch of times. I mean, if you want to, please join us. Communicate with yes. us. Yes. Anyways, moving on to snacks. Okay, so this is a snacky cluster. That's what it's called. Snacky cluster. It's from Trader Joe's. Here's what's in it. Sea salt potato chips, mini pretzel nuggets, and corn chip dippers. All mushed together and dunked with in chocolate, chocolate and caramel. Caramel? Did I make up the caramel? I think Yeah, you... there's caramel. Look. Oh, really? Picture. Okay. So I'm down for the potato chips. I feel weird about dip- And the pretzel nuggets, obviously, those right. are always good dips and chocolate but if you if you're not a trader joe's shopper like us um just kidding (laughs) (laughs) dippers are basically scoop sized fritos that aren't as good as scoop sized fritos sorry trader joe's i've tried them several times and every time i'm like like, "Eh." they're so thick and just dry dry (laughs) trish is scared about them being covered in chocolate so i am scared to taste a frito flavor with chocolate it's gonna be good though they look delicious a lot happening there the corn dipper is not good i can totally taste it and you're right it's not good the frito flavor it overpowers overpowers the sea salt and the pretzel which Uh we know are delicious with chocolate and potato chips are good with chocolate it feels like it's a bigger part of this you know what i'm saying i feel like they doubled down on the dippers (laughs) i feel like it's all dipper (laughs) not I saw a pretzel nugget piece. All I can taste is the corn. I don't I don't see sorry to chew. I don't see any potato chips. It was not good, you guys, which is weird. It tastes like how I imagine dog food tastes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. 
I know. I don't know why I said that. Oh my gosh. The corn flavor. Something about why? that. Whose idea was it to add the, was it like old, I, old bags of chips left <laughs> over and Trader Joe was They're like, all we hey. <laughs> Trader Joe was like, <laughs> good in the mix. Why is he Italian? <laughs> He's Italian. That was weird. These are bad. Wow. It's rare that I have a, like a really bad The problem Trader is, and we'll take obviously pictures, but they look delicious. I love a clustered bunch of stuff. Anything, with cover it with chocolate and I'm in. But the corn thing just overpowered the whole. I'm I'm doing that a is, palate cleanser with another snack. That's why I, I said we shouldn't get it. The first thing I said was why the corn chips. Why are there Fritos? Wait, let me in let it? me. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Okay, though. from a snacking standpoint, the synergy of sweet and salty is simply sensational. Well, okay, totally it is. Someone Not what we're saying. We've combined some superb snack time treats, sea salt, la, 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 uh, crushed them up, coated them in milk chocolate, creating an ultra crunchy, craveable cluster. They're out of this world. It's out of this world, but not in a good way. So in a world I don't want to go to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now we're going to have another snack to wash that one out of our memory. This one is a dark chocolate watermelon stick. So it's like those jellies. Do you this could like also these? be good. This I feel about jellies like I feel about marshmallows. Oh, it's no. okay. My, uh, my chair is so loud. Sorry. That's good. It's fine. That's <laughs> chocolate. I mean, I could eat like a hundred of these really fast. No, I wouldn't eat a hundred of these. Oh, really? No. You don't like the jelly. No jelly. No jelly in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> my wow. mother-in-law used to like these from like the mountain goat. It was like the mountain goat country chocolate factory or the country chocolate factory. The Rocky Mountain. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so <laughs> there was no goat. But <laughs> we used to go there. Uh, and get the these raspberry sticks that she loved That's covered in dark like. chocolate. It mm. tastes like this. Like she would love these. So this is like that was like her favorite candy. And I was like, who who wants to ruin dark chocolate with like raspberry jello jelly? It's good. I don't know. It's sort of like like Turkish delight is kind of like a jelly like. I don't know. At least with Turkish Delight, like, you know what you're in for. Well, you know what you're in for. I, yeah, I guess. Too. I don't know why I said that. It doesn't <laughs> taste very watermelon-y, though. It just tastes like sweet. Jelly. <laughs> Where are my jelly haters? I like jelly on a, a sandwich. You know? Jelly on a English muffin. I don't like jelly fucking diving into my chocolate and making it I like tastes like jelly. I don't know why. It's probably because like since quitting drinking, I've just wanted sweets a lot more. Yeah. Because I'm not a very sweets oriented person, really. But like lately, I just manically want something like this. Like yeah. I would, that's why I'm saying I eat like a whole bunch of these. Well, it's it's not that it's. I horrible. would not eat any more snack clusters. I'm going to throw those away. I can't even give them to the dog because they're covered in chocolate. My See, kids will not eat those. Nobody's going to eat those. This is just bad. Unless you like really like the flavor of, of if corn you, chips, of Frito chocolate. flavor, corn <laughs> chips or whatever and chocolate. Like before you spend money on this, I would just get like a small bag of corn chips from like the gas station and get a Hershey bar and just eat them together. <laughs> it has to be the scoops, though, because it's that thick, big scoop it ugh. somebody just ground up all this shit fritos. that was left over that's the thing that's weird i love fritos too that's why i kept trying the dippers i'm like i want these to be good i don't want to go to another store when i want fritos <laughs> i want them at trader joe's why would they get rid of the umami bites which were delicious yeah we were like walking around out. trader joe's like loudly complaining not like the people that work there can do anything about it and i'm sure they're like god damn it when they discontinue something everybody that everyone likes. is annoyed i feel like we like did a history of things they've canceled that we were mad about 
at one a point litany. we were hoarding <laughs> zucchini spirals at one point because they were only out at like we were hoarding Thanksgiving. that salsa too i had like four jars of that in my cabinet i'm gonna eat all of these double chocolate you, those, watermelon you Are double they, down on the dark chocolate watermelon sticks jelly i like them I don't like jelly for any of those you use it as What what song is that? Flame oh, it's lips. Flame and Lips. Yes, Jelly. Here, hold it this up. It's the song. It's called Jelly. Go like this. This is <laughs> bad podcast. This is, we always do this. I'll just cut it out. Well, I just wanted your thumb in it, not you in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making like a beautiful sad okay. face. Whatever. Okay. No, I'll turn my head. <laughs> I'm not it's in the terrible. picture. It's just I'm not in the picture. Wait, just put a red. <laughs> just put a Ghostbuster circle around it with the line through it. A Ghostbuster circle. I don't know how to describe I know it. That was, you perfect. know exactly I what know. that is. That's actually really funny. Right? A Ghostbuster circle. <laughs> I feel like that's like a thing. I think I'm not the only one who's said that. Really? I've I, never heard it before. I mean, I don't think. I say it all the time when I'm referencing the red <laughs> symbol. Really? Yeah. How, how often <laughs> do you reference that? I mean, <laughs> all weren't, the time. weren't you the one making a list entitled Things I Hate Earlier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, all right. So... I got mad and I started writing notes to myself, things I hate. So here's something I hate. I hate like shortened abbreviations of words like gorge for gorgeous. Or like obs or like for obviously obs. or obvi. Obvi. Yeah, that's. Or like delish. I fucking hate <laughs> that so much. Gorge is a new one that I hate. Okay, so <laughs> the other things that I hate are when people end a sentence with at. <laughs> Here's where we're at. Let's let's all figure out where we're at. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. You have to hear that, like, daily. I hear it so much. This meeting is about where we're at. Ugh. Where we're at. Where, where. You can't where. end a sentence with at, people. It's not a thing. And it's just, it like is slowly eating away at my soul <laughs> because it like it won't go away it's like yeah. become like a thing that people say almost like i don't know it's just like how you talk in the office like and people like even like my daughter's therapist said it to me like yeah. well we just have to see where we're at now with the like, medication yeah Ugh. yep yeah but I if she like, it. It, like if the therapist would have said we want to see where she's at with the medication by next wednesday it would have been fine but still, how about awkward. where she is with no, the medication? Where we're at? Cause yeah, <laughs> you don't need to say where Why we are. are you at? Adding words in. I don't know. I was just trying to justify no, it. It's just I, it's cringe. Grandma. Well, the other thing. What was the one? Oh, somebody cringes in a chat. Not even in, out loud. Oh, this we're is the talking best one. about. You know, it's marketing stuff, right? And they said. Taxonomy nomen nomen the tax <laughs> taxonomy the, nomenclature. The ta uh, I can't even say it. The taxonomy <laughs> nomenclature won't be differentiated. And that was they typed that out and I like wrote it down and texted it to Shauna. Well I, I typed it in my phone. <laughs> you wrote it down <laughs> and then typed it. That's a big deal. Anyways, yeah. that was a taxonomy that was nomenclature is like, that was opening at Coachella. <laughs> I, know. I was like, taxonomy. what if we started a band and called it taxonomy nomenclature? I think we should just start a band <laughs> called taxonomy. Okay. Taxonomy. That sounds and then like we had cool. to like look them all up. And we're Everybody smart. has to explain it though. But it's, it requires explanation. And then it's like, all right. And then I told Trisha that she should just nickname that person smarty pants <laughs> because it's like, okay, smarty pants, taxonomy, nomenclature. Like who says that at work? I don't like, know. It was super You don't weird. work in a science lab at like no. JPL or something where you're like, it's you not know, that fancy. Well, it sounds sciencey too. It does. Though. And yeah. it's used more in like probably for like science. If you're naming bio, logical classifying animals things. or classifying yeah. cells or yeah. some shit yeah clearly not my job okay anyways i also wrote down a good one <laughs> for you i wrote down 
for me because <laughs> we were sitting at the nail place and i was telling him the things that i hated which oh was and i think it's yeah. an at and gorge and delish and then <laughs> and then i wrote down ice cream is not what it seems oh because <laughs> you were like on a oh, five minute rant about <laughs> the okay. scoops of ice cream and the picture so, were not the right. same <laughs> you guys okay if you have a food truck this is a message for you about marketing which clearly i do for a living if you have a food truck, the pictures on the outside of the truck around the little window should be of the food you actually have, right? I mean, the grilled cheese truck has a grilled cheese sandwich. The lobster truck has a fucking lobster. Get with it. So we're at the Pride um, Parade and we go to like get some food or whatever. And I, I was like, let's just get ice cream. And everybody was like, yay. And we went up to this ice cream truck and there was a beautiful picture of a cone with three giant, gorgeous strawberry, (laughs) vanilla and chocolate, like scoops of fucking ice cream. But it's just like a painting. It's on the truck and the truck's name is Ice Cream Truck. But not like the, the, I realize how that sounded. (laughs) It was not a do, 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 like ice cream truck. It was a food that was like in a line of food trucks, right? But I also think it makes it sound like you're like, no, it's like they're serving pizza out of the ice cream truck. Like they were no, no. serving ice cream out so of the I, ice cream I truck. I asked the person behind the counter or in the window, I'm like, can you just put like one scoop in a bowl? Because the, the list of flavors didn't have like two scoops one scoop cone or no cone it just said like sandwich strawberry sandwich cookie strawberry sandwich cookie (laughs) this and then it said strawberry vanilla and this right and i'm like it doesn't have any information that also made me upset (laughs) so i asked the guy luckily there's no line at this truck things that make trisha really Uh, (laughs) ice cream is not what it's wait wait (laughs) he says Oh, we're always we only have packaged ice cream. And I'm like, packaged ice cream? Like what the fuck is that? Like if it's not dipping dots, like what is it? Because I know those come in like a package. Whenever you get ice cream from an ice cream truck, it's No, like- it wasn't like a neighborhood ice cream truck. <laughs> That's the thing. I know I called it an ice cream truck. <laughs> but an ice cream truck doesn't just have three flavors of two things. It has a big cart menu and you can pick out the SpongeBob popsicle oh, yeah. and then Big That's toe true. one with gum in the toe, and <laughs> it's like a pink gross. foot. That's disgusting. <laughs> don't get that, don't anybody. Don't get that. So basically, don't get a pink toe <laughs> with gum in it <laughs> from an ice cream. Truck. There used to be a pink panther one. That's what I was thinking oh. of. <laughs> pink the pink panther. <laughs> pan- <laughs> and it had like a gumball in it. I used to get that when I was a kid. I liked the pink panther. <laughs> it's so funny oh my gosh what did the pink panther say when he stepped on the ant didn't didn't i was trying to find a kazoo but i never have one next to me i was gonna just play that write it bitch Hello, everyone. (laughs) Okay. I recorded a bunch of outtakes. We can't just start right away. We have to introduce it. (sighs) Hello. Welcome to Write Club. Remember in the beginning when I told you to be jealous? This is that part. This is it. (laughs) So it's time to um, listen to us be five characters with two of us, which we didn't think about before. Yeah. But it's too fun to not read them in dialogue form you have to also it's just because then you're like it's easier steve Lori. like when we you did have our to, own yeah you yeah. have to like say who everybody is and it's a little complicated yeah so tell so the today, people the prompt yes i will this is shauna oh. i will be playing the parts of Lori and bella <laughs> and trisha will be pay- playing the parts of steve dave and bennett and for some reason, everybody, I just <laughs> want you to know. I Bella Bailey a few I minutes ago, so that's Bella is Bailey. Um, for some reason, um, 
Sean is intimidated by my Steve <laughs> voice, guys, and I'm not sure why. Like, I, I, wha- I started doing like, I a like- weird Cockney accent for Steve, and that just was not going to work. <laughs> please, so. please, just a little. <laughs> Hello, hello, party people. <laughs> How are you, darlings? How are you? <laughs> How are you? Okay, we've done that like a thousand times I on know, the show. Sorry. Because it's funny. Who's our re- Okay, so we have four submissions, first of all. And the prompt Thank was, you all for submitting. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing on social media. You know who you are. And, and for, Mary Ellen and, for and doing Kayla. it. And for writing and, and they're all great submitting you guys. and you guys like at this at this point it's gonna be the six of us writing this odd com. Odd com. And you know what? We're fine with that. But you know what? We want more people. We do want more people. I'm lying, we're not fine with it. <laughs> That was a thing where I say something, but I don't mean it. And then I say it and then I'm like, <laughs> shit, I guess I could just cut it out. You could. I'm the editor. OK. <clears throat> All right. So, so this is Mary Ellen. We're going to do Mary Ellen oh, first. Thanks for telling me. Oh, <laughs> papers are shuffling. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, wait, what's the prompt? Oh, Lori and Dave are having a barbecue in the apartment complex by the pool. <laughs> Sorry. It's just very specific. Where are they at? They invite Steve to join them. Bella and Bennett are also at the barbecue. And also there, there's a grill. <laughs> and also food. Why is it so? Okay. We already yeah. talked about this last week. Go back and listen. You know who you are. Um Sometimes we over explain the writing prompt. Like we double downed on the writing prompt. You know prompt. who you are? <laughs> it's us. <laughs> what do you mean you no, know who you are? The people who didn't listen to the oh, other Oh, I was like, what? Episode. They know who they are. <laughs> well, we know who we are. I know where they're at. <laughs> oh God. That was like a bad, like, who's on first? It was We're a, genius. It was, and we don't even realize it. It's like the least Ooh. funny who's on first. <laughs> like... What would it be like? Uh, oh, what's it called when you like honor something, mimic something by homage? It? Homage. Thank you. That's <laughs> an homage. We're also to Abbott and Costello. <laughs> we're also playing. Or is it Abbott and Costello? Yeah. Yeah, we're also playing charades. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all you honor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shh, stop. Okay. Who sent us prompts? Mary Ellen. Oh. And Kayla. Kayla. And Hammer and Brett. Thank you DoorDash. all. Okay, here we go. Without further Not to be ado. confused with DoorDash. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be good. <clears throat> Remember, we're really building this up. <laughs> it's just awful. I okay. will, I'll cut the fuck out of this part. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not voice actors. Okay, you know. You know. Okay. <laughs> Hello, 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 party people. How are you, darlings? Steve, so glad you could join us. Um, what do you have here? A pet? Hmm. Chicken. Where's the altar? We need to get on this fire fast. He hands Lori the leash he walked in. Uh, he hands Lori the leash he walked the chicken in on. <laughs> oh, did you mean barbecue? Patting his jacket pockets. Ah, uh, yes, the ketchup saucy barbecue. Hands Lori the bottle and winks. I had to sign a waiver for that one. Honey, Dave, Dave, honey, Steve brought us barbecue presents. Steve, buddy, glad you can make it. Gifts are necessary. This is a casual burger and brats kind of night. Brats? Steve looks over at Bennett and Bella shooting water pistols at each other. (laughs) Well, this is going to be a party now, isn't it? I didn't know people still sacrifice their brats, as you put it, on the altar. Bennett, Bella, pull it together. We have company. Want to see my altar? Gestures, quote signs with the word altar and smiles. You know I do. They walk over to the grill and Dave lifts the lid. Flames shoot up in the air. Isn't she a beauty? Are those chubby fingers? <laughs> no, no, no. We aren't doing chicken fingers or any of those fancy British dishes. Just the burgers and brats. Want a cold one? 
Hell no. Cold? I prefer mine with a sizzle. Steve? Talking seriously super fast like preteens tend to do. You brought me a pet chicken that was so thoughtful. You know how important healthy and food is and fresh eggs for breakfast is going to be so good for my hair and my protein shakes in the morning. I'm going to love this. It was so thoughtful. Does she have a name yet? Of course not. What should I call her? Fluffy? No. White and feathers? Come on, Bella. Uh, I know white in French is Blanche. I'll call her Blanche or Blanche. Or Blanque. I, Blanque. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my Steve, you have the best ideas. Thank you. Blanche and I are going to go upstairs and get my phone. Music is a must and mom and dad's taste is pretty blah. Save me a dance. No, she means literally dance with the devil. Punny little munchkin. Sup. Sup indeed. I look forward to supping tonight <laughs> with your familial pod of delightful. You talk funny. Well, yes. Language is an ever evolving tangle of communication, <laughs> isn't it? I prefer emotions. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I was just insulted by an angsty 10 year old. What fresh new ring of hell is this barbecue party? <laughs> Yay. Yay, Mary Ellen. Oh that my gosh. Awesome. That chicken on a leash. That chicken thing was so funny. And did I, what, what, how do you, do you not say Blanche? Blanche? I don't know if it's French. It might be Blanche. Blanche. I don't know. I took, I didn't take, I didn't take French. French. Either. So Blanche. Blanche. Someone's yelling sadly while they're listening. I, to I this. mean, we could have looked it up beforehand and prepared, but that, that was, was just unlike us. So funny. I loved everything. <laughs> I like, I loved, I don't think you were supposed to read the talking super fast, like, but that was hilarious. It, you, actually, it was good that you read it because otherwise it would look like you thought of it. And, yeah, and I don't we all know anyone, you're not that clever. On I, the I can't, I don't have these kinds of acting <laughs> intuition <laughs> that, that was is required. That little like mini monologue was hilarious. Like, Where she's just going through everything in her all, mind yeah. and saying it out yeah. loud. Yeah. That was so funny. I love it. Thank you, Marilyn. That was hilarious. That chicken thing is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like <laughs> and in like, the best way brats. possible. And like brats, brats and brats. <laughs> oh my God. You don't. I didn't know we were grilling brats today. <laughs> He's all happy. See, that could have been your Steve voice. I didn't know today. Well, see, that's that. what I was saying. It's kind of like Gucci's voice, right? <laughs> the dog. My dog that doesn't really Lori talk. and Dave are having a barbecue in the apartment complex by the pool. <laughs> I guess I should have done that voice for that one. I'm sorry, Mary Ellen. <laughs> okay, who's our reading now? It's like Kayla. It's like roulette. Uh, script roulette in here. All right. Double down. Double circle back to circle back to Trisha. gambling. <laughs> circle back to gambling. We were talking yeah. about double down. No, right? I know. I no, I know. <laughs> it's just like was that you? <laughs> Girl, you know who you are. I was like, it's us. What? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <clears throat> this is what it's all about, right, honey? Yes, yes, it is. Hey, Bennett. Don't get too close now. Remember what I said about the grill being hot. Yes, father. Is that Steve over there coming up from the mailboxes? Steve, where? You mean your boyfriend? Shut up. Hey, you two, stop fighting. It's too nice a day for it. He started it. Did not. Hey, buddy, come on now and mind your mother. <laughs> That's not English. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Come on now. Mind your mother. She works hard all week to raise you right. Give her today. Yes, yes father. father. Steve. Steve, I thought that was you. Why don't you come on over? Yeah, come on over. Join the barbecue, Steve. I don't want to intrude. Don't tell me you need a formal invitation like some vampire. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> ha ha, no, no. I've been called many things, but one that I'm definitely not is a vampire. Besides, it's too beautiful a day to be stuck inside waiting for the night. Dave's right. We have plenty on the grill and we'd love the company. Oh, please, Steve, stay. I want to hear more stories about where you grew up. You know he makes those up. There's no way they could be true. They are true. They are, aren't they, Steve? 
It doesn't bother me if Bennett doesn't believe my stories. I just like telling them. And if you like hearing them, then so much the better. Steve, we have lemonade. I'll get you a glass with ice so you can enjoy it better. No ice for me, thank you. It never seems to stay frozen very long when I'm holding the glass anyway. Oh, okay. Here you are then. That's lemonade pouring into a glass with no ice. This is quite the setup you have today. Are we celebrating something? We're celebrating both our little angels graduating from the fourth grade. I'm happy the kids are doing well, but graduating fourth grade seems a little overdoing it with the accolades, if you ask me. No one did, dear. Still, any excuse to fire up the old grill is a good one in my book. Well, congratulations, kids. You're going to be in fifth grade next year. As I remember, as I remember it, that's the best. (laughs) (laughs) Now you're just rewriting it. (laughs) Sorry, Kayla. Well, congratulations, kids. You're going to be in fifth grade next year. As I remember it, that's one of the most exciting grades there is. It is? Why? Yeah, why? Because it's the year before sixth grade, and that's even better. What makes sixth grade so special? You'll have to wait to find out. But trust me, I liked it so much, I was in the sixth grade three times. Really? (laughs) Buddy, he's pulling your leg. (laughs) So what else are you two doing to celebrate? When it gets dark, we're going to hold a seance. Oh, really? Yeah, we want to see if we can talk to our cat. With a seance. We're going to do it over there. That's where he's buried. Oh, buried. Oh, I see. I knew I liked you two for a reason. (laughs) Why? Because you're both the evil twin. (laughs) (laughs) That's not how you do it. (laughs) How does Vincent Price laugh? Oh, there you go. I don't know. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Sorry, we butchered the f no, out no, of no, it. No, no, I'll edit it. Okay. To the to the ear on the podcast, it'll sound like we're brilliant actors who never crack each other up in the middle of a script, <laughs> who never use other it's, accents. There's so much funny stuff that sometimes also we just like get. Distracted. I mean, we already read through. <laughs> So we wouldn't just be hysterically laughing. I know, but it was no, it's yeah, we did funny. actually because if we get surprised by it, but it's still funny. <laughs> Don't um. surprise us; we'll, <laughs> we won't be able to stop laughing. Everybody remembers the. Don't listen, Shauna. The heavenly chunks. <laughs> when I lost episode. my mind. See, it's not that funny to me now. It was just that day I lost my mind. Yeah, this is really good. We love it so much, and I. I love that they're having a celebration that they graduated, air quote, the fourth grade, because people totally do that. Like, we graduated from second grade. I'm like, you didn't graduate shit, dude. You don't graduate until you leave elementary school and you leave high school. And I'm sorry, but like when we were kids, nobody did anything. There was no graduating until you graduated from high high school. school. Yeah, There was no, no, junior high had a graduation ceremony. It had a a promotion. Like a promotion. They call it promotion. But it was just like, it wasn't, and it wasn't that big of a deal. I don't even even remember mine if there was one i only remember mine because my boyfriend's name was steve allen and it, he's a very famous comedian that my parents thought it was hilarious that i had a boyfriend named steve allen and he wore a white tux and he was like six foot four in eighth grade yeah he wore a white tux to the promotion which was really odd because you don't it's wear not a formal event. it is not does it seem weird to you that his name was steve <laughs> Holy crap. And he had a red bow tie. What? Whoa. That was an early character. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. No one celebrates. This so really I thought good that was stuff. a perfect thing for that family to do because seriously, people go off on this whole, you finished a grade you're required to do. And I just love all the little, the little subtle things about Steve, like holding the glass and it not staying cold. <laughs> and then like that, the whole, like he repeated sixth grade, six times or three times, yes. not six times, not three six times. Time. Get it. Six, six, six. People didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> Very clever, Kayla. Now we are on to hammer. 
Hey, Steve-O, come and join us. We're grilling some burgs. That's what I call hamburgers. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Hey, Steve, you want to buy some candy bars? We also have wrapping paper, Steve. Shut up, Bennett. He doesn't need that. People like Steve don't celebrate Christmas. I know because he didn't put up a tree at Christmas. How do you know that? I look through your blinds because there's a crack where one is bent back. Are you Jewish, Steve? Yeah, Steve. Are you Jewish? I already asked him that. Do, Do you, you celebrate, celebrate Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Steve? We don't really celebrate anything where I come from. Say, you kids are kind of weird. You're, You're weird, weird, Steve. Shut Oh, <laughs> shut up. I already said that. No, you shut up. I already said that. Kids, leave poor Steve alone. There's always selling something for school or collecting cereal box tops or trying to harvest souls or some <laughs> other nonsense to make up for the money these schools don't get from tax dollars. Hashtag mom life. Yes. Hashtag soul harvesting. <laughs> Hashtag so blessed. Oh, Steve, this is why you need to hang out with us more often. You are hashtag hilarious. <laughs> Say, do you have a sister or any women in your life who like leggings? I just got a new box of LuLaRoe leggings, and there's a print that is all these little flames. It's hashtag adorbs. <laughs> hashtag mom boss. Hashtag mom entrepreneur. Mom entrepreneur. <laughs> no. I don't talk to my family, and I'm not currently dating anyone. Steve, 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 I know the perfect woman for you. My friend Rhonda is recently divorced and looking for love. Mom, Rhonda is uggo. Yeah, Rhonda's uggo. Shut up, I already said that. She's not quote-unquote uggo. Kids, go play. It's fine, really. I'm not, I'm not interested in dating right now. Tell me about your family, Steve. What happened there? Hashtag nosy. Hashtag neighborhood busybody. <laughs> uh, well, I'm kind of the black sheep. <laughs> I was kicked out of the house when I was young. You could say I kind of disagreed with my controlling father, and he decided he had had enough of me. See, this is why you need to meet my friend Rhonda. You know, meet a nice woman, settle down, have some babies. If you two get married, I could officiate because I got ordained online. And then you have a wife to buy LuLaRoe leggings for. Rhonda loves them. She's one of my best customers. <laughs> Just think of the babies you two would have. If I had another man, I would name that baby bounty wouldn't that be great you could use that name for your baby it works for a boy or a girl hashtag so blessed bounty like the paper towel oh steve you're a riot lol hey dave can i get my berg to go <laughs> oh my god the soul harvesting Okay, we're always selling stuff for soul yeah, harvesting. I, didn't catch I was that. like, what? When I first read it, I didn't, I didn't catch that, and I was like, why does he? I just thought it was funny that he said hashtag because he was making fun of her, but I didn't catch that she said they're always busy doing something soul harvesting souls or some other nonsense. Like what the fuck? So the oh. hashtagging was amazing. Yes, first of all, and I love right it. away. Okay, this is such like coincidence or maybe not that you're like that's what i call hamburgers burgs i'm like <gasps> oh my god that was like me talking about gorge and delish earlier i'm uh, like are adorbs. you like literally reading my mind i know Hammer, that is because actually, i think you are that is funny yeah and, and, and it, they also say adorbs hashtag adorbs which is another shortening of a word which is super annoying yes good job because Lori is annoying hashtag annoying so so oh, far really what I'm funny. loving is everyone's kind of developed different characters. Yeah. Like Mary Ellen developed uh, Bella actually really yeah. well. Yeah. And um, Lori is, or I'm sorry, Hammer, I feel like really developed Lori with that whole LuLaRoe leg. Yeah, totally. I thought totally it was going to die. And Kayla just like got the banter between the kids, which I really the, liked because shut up. He started yeah, it. No. Like I said that. You I said that. That's like, like great. Everyone I, I don't know. I love and it. I love it when they say it together and they're still <laughs> fighting. I said that. No, I said it like first or whatever. Like <laughs> so funny. That was fabulous. Okay. One more, guys. This is Biden. 
Brett. Okay. Jordan. Short Ash. Okay. You go. Hey, buddy. Hello, David. OMG, you came. I'm so happy you were here. Well, of course, Lori. One must never turn down an invite. Well, we are so glad you could come and join us. The kids have been so excited to hang out with you. Ever since you moved in, they have been fascinated by you. It's the devilish thing. They just can't stop talking about you. I have that effect on children. Speaking of the little devils, where are they? We, we are, are right, right here, here Uncle, Uncle Stephen. Stephen. Jesus, you <laughs> surprised me. <laughs> Would, Would you, you like to buy a raffle ticket for our school fundraiser? Depends on what you're raising funds for. We, we need, need a, a new rabbit. rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is funny. <laughs> really? What happened with the old rabbit? An, An accident. accident. Oh, we don't want to talk about that now, do we? There was so much blood. And guts. <laughs> Kids these days. <laughs> um, such vivid imaginations. Hey, kiddos. Why don't you get in the pool? Let the grown-ups talk. Yeah, swim time. But first, here are some floaties, some sunscreen. Oh, and a little zinc for your noses. Don't want you to burn out there. We, we like, like to, to burn. burn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, we don't want skin cancer. Cancer is the plague of the world. Uncle Steve, what's your favorite plague? Well, I've always been partial to... A loud splash happens and screams of terror. We're, we're melting, melting! We're melting! Oh, oh what, what a, a world! world. <laughs> what amazing children you have. They are something. Hey, buddy. Mind watching the grill where I help Lori get the burgers? They're not real, quote unquote, burgers. They are vegan, gluten free, non soy burgers. We get them at Trader Joe's. We used to get them at Whole Foods, but then we had kids, and I mean those prices. Anywho, the kids are allergic to most things, so we have gone on a very strict diet. We didn't tell you because most people can't stand the food we eat. <laughs> but we do it for our precious angels, Bennett and Bella. I mean, just look at them. There's silence. There's no splashing. There's no Marco Polo. There's just an eerie <laughs> silence. Then it, baby mommy doesn't like it when you stand at the end of the pool and stare at her. Remember, we talked about this with Dr. Carol. The, the kids shrink. Oh, well, it's nice to talk to someone about things at times. <laughs> yeah, we've had a few instances where, well, let's just say our kids are special how so burgers we need to get the burgers steve can you be a deer and watch the kids too while we head up to the apartment it would be my pleasure bennett bella steve's gonna keep an eye on you while we go get the grillers thanks for keeping an eye on our satan spawn i had nothing to do with them what <laughs> it's nothing go get the food i'm very good with fire and i am very good with kids Thanks, buddy. We hear a metal gate close. Boom. Now, let's look at this fire. Oh, that won't do. Snaps his fingers. The sound of fire. Whoosh. That's better. Should burn the hell out of those nasty burgers. <laughs> Uncle Steve. You've got to stop sneaking up on me. <laughs> yes, children. How can I assist you? We want in. In? You want in? In what? You may fool our parents, but we know what, who you are, and, well, we want in. <laughs> Not sure I get what you're saying. I'm just good old Uncle Steve from Apartment 66. Don't, Don't treat us like, like children. children. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't like us when you underestimate us. We, we are full of surprises. surprises. Listen, there is no in either you are or you aren't and cut, cut the, the crap. crap and you definitely are hell you scare me <laughs> and that children is no easy task we, we will, will follow, follow you, you until, until the end times. times why don't you finish college and get back to me i mean <laughs> having devilish minions would be fun but even i have rules no children well 
okay there was that whole 70s outbreak and stuff but those were weird (laughs) times kids disco i mean it was meant as a punishment hey buddy who are you talking to the hey where did they go that's the twins always sneaking up on you and always vanishing on you (laughs) but what can i say i love the little devils devils yes devils Oh oh my god I feel like we didn't do justice to the kids voices because like I feel like it could be so good if it's well that's why it's gonna be produced yeah shut up it's no I mean it's hard to do talk to yourself when you're well (laughs) not just that no I just meant like the 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 oh the monitor the together lines yeah. cuz like those would be really I think those that can was be funny. really funny I think it was still funny it was making us laugh like yeah for sure no i <laughs> i think it's this is hilarious i love that <laughs> there was that whole thing in this like the satanic the, panic is yeah, that what he's talking yeah, about I, think so. I don't know the yeah. plague yeah i think so yeah but anyway <laughs> like that was brilliant and then the vegan. i love how the kids are like they want in and yeah. they're like in on it and they're yeah. the devil and like i fucking love that i mean it's kind of that soul harvesting yeah idea like and doing a seance like yeah. yeah these are the same <laughs> twins from that one like, like we did uh with the gluten vegan gluten-free non-soy burgers like we were talking about right, how we used to we would probably say that like i used to get this at whole foods but now <laughs> i just get trader joe's like because whole foods is just so expensive oh my god i was like did i have this conversation that's already? a weird thing your neighbor would tell you too like yeah. Just go on and on yeah, and on about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my god. Or that maybe you would say to Rob at Trader Joe's, <laughs> you would double down on that. I know. <laughs> double down on that vegan burger. Well, and then the whole idea that, that was super creepy and funny that they're in the pool, but they're not. They're not making they, any they're, noise. they're not being kids. And then when Lori goes, Bennett, baby, mommy doesn't like it when you stand at the end of the pool and stare at her. I mean, come on. I know. I love it. I love the whole like that tone. This is so good. There's so much good stuff in all of this, well, you guys. Thank you so much. I can like, already think hysterical. of like spinoff conversations. Like what does Steve do when he gets back to the, his roommates? Like, yeah. does he take his Berg to go? Like. <laughs> What's a therapy session like with this family? Like, with I the love twins. it. What like, happened to the rabbit at school? Yeah, that was weird. Ooh, I love it. I love that, it. There's so much blood. I know. <laughs> it's all it's scary. Like the same. Like, <laughs> like oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really want to know like all the backstory behind everyone's because everyone's got. It's I love it because it's all like it's a minute in someone's life, but it's yeah. like there's all this background that there's, you're hinting you at. Learned, Everybody did that in yeah, there. You learned great. so much in one scene. I mean, I think that's why it's fun to write. And then you have to like, you know, don't want to make Shauna and I talk to ourselves for three hours. <laughs> but, you know, it's fun because once you get going and we found this when we did it on the last podcast, you don't want to stop writing the dialogue because you just keep thinking of more yeah. and more directions. It's it could hilarious, go. you guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well Love done. It. Very good, everybody. So I think we're supposed to give out the next prompt today so hmm. that everybody has a Shit. month to work on it. Okay. No shitting. It's okay. But we didn't come up with one yet. Well, they didn't know that i was just gonna <laughs> pause the recording so we could come up with it we're gonna come up with one right now yeah, Hold hang on, on. <laughs> hello we're back with the writing prompt so here is the write club for july it is due on july 28th and here it is write a scene with bob and jan chatting in the apartment complex steve joins them I like that we've learned to make it more precise and <laughs> not so You don't want to hear the 10 versions before we came up with those two simple sentences. There was a lot of, it was very controlling, <laughs> I would say very controlling writing prompts before now. Like we were trying to dictate to you exactly what they were talking about, <laughs> how their energy was. And we realize when we don't do that, you guys come up with such good stuff yeah. that we're like, let's not go too far into the weeds here. Yeah. No, it'd be like... 
It'd be like if we said Lori and Dave are having a barbecue. They specifically have brought some burgers. And, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like you guys like came, so brought that to the table. Thank all you. Yourselves. And a pet chicken. I mean, a I sacrificial mean, on chicken. On a leash. <laughs> on a chicken. On How many leash. chickens does he have? Chicken on a leash. Yeah. I I mean, he's that. a chicken man. Chicken man. <laughs> Hold my hand. You remember that song? Yeah. No. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> No, he's um. Remember how when many we saw Shanita ch- O'Connor sing that with the <laughs> Indigo Girls? That's what she sang with them. Was the Chicken Man? Yes, okay, yes. sorry. That's There's really great cool. harmonies on that one. Okay, this is way off base. sidebar music sidebar, which sometimes mm-hmm. happens. Anyways, amazing! Everybody participate. It's super fun. Bring a friend. Um, we love you. Our we have to come up with a name for our regulars. Like if they if they. Th- third time and then you get a nickname I, mary ellen's the only one without a nickname yeah, so far we're gonna so gonna have to like think about if, that if it, you come you back know, which you will it's the three when timers you come back. Cl- yeah it's three timers <laughs> club and you we gotta name you because ha- stephanie is hammer kayla is sharpie brett is jordash yes and Mary Ellen, you were Trisha, and I'm <laughs> <laughs> and I am the walrus. <laughs> Circle back to music. <laughs> All right. Anyway, well, that was fun, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Life Those were so good. They Those, were so they, fun. They like, make me so happy. I'm going to keep thinking about all this stuff that you guys put out there. My cheeks were hurt, like hurt are hurting right now from laughing so much. Yeah, we laughed so. a lot also like offline because we laugh a lot on the microphone and then it's like kind of annoying, I'm sure, to you. So we try <laughs> to minimize our laughing. I'm just kidding. We can't really. Uh, you know, that's why there's always a little outtakes in the end because it's something, you know, I think some of the stuff we laughed about today was just lame so maybe not (laughs) although flubbing some of the lines was pretty good (laughs) it's good anyways all right well that's all everybody keep writing keep snacking thank you for joining us on the bench do you want to be a bench lane be a bench lane, be, be a bench lane. Wow. Be a bench lane, be, be a bench lane. Hey. Be a bench lane, won't you want to be a bench lane too? Benchpodcasts.com It doesn't bother me if Bennett doesn't believe my stories. I just like telling them. And if you like hearing them so much, then so much. If you like hearing them so much, then so much the better. And then like a thousand times. <laughs> Sorry. Let me just say that line again. Okay. I can, I'll cut it together. Okay. No ice for me. <laughs> Thank you. It seems to stay frozen very long. Oh, it never. <laughs> Ugh, fucking hell. Go ahead. No ice. Well. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I know I started doing a country. (laughs) 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 Okay. Don't Don't treat treat us like like children. children. You You wouldn't wouldn't like us. Oh, you wouldn't wouldn't like like us. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Don't treat us. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Start at the top of the line. It's easier to edit. Are you spinning too much? Like what? Is it too? It's too much guitar. <laughs> what? Why was so bad? <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry. It sounded just like the song. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have actually. I didn't want to say this, but I have no idea what you're playing. I'm, I'm just kidding. waiting. I'm just waiting for you to stop. <laughs> That's a much different tune. (laughs) You were like, (laughs) Dannard. Don't get that in my head because then I won't remember what it is. Wait, no, I have the play it again. Oh my god. You're going to 
just do it twice, I think. Okay. <sighs> Glad we cleared that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Much improved, my friend. This is the part that always makes us laugh the most. It's so funny. I don't know why. This has been like this since we started the podcast. We no always idea. get delirious when we're going to do this part. Because we do this at the end of the podcast. I guess that's why. And also it goes at the beginning. A silly song. So that's usually part of it. Because I'm hilarious. so funny. <laughs> okay, wait. Don't blow your rod. <laughs> don't double down on the kazoo just yet. No, I have to remember the tune. Okay. Okay. Ghostbuster symbol. Adorbs. Double down. <laughs> I know a girl who's... Uh, who's fuck. <laughs> You're just going to make fuckers farting sounds? Like, what the fuck? Okay, I have to. I'm stopping the recording. We're gonna start over. We're are we doing that now, or are we doing that later? Doing what now? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I've lost the my train of thought. Hater list. Oh, we oh, should do it in now. In the slang, dude. I'm gonna dip out of here if you don't get your shit together. Okay, I'm adorbs. You're adorbs. You're adorbs. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.